felt uh, <clears throat> jazz was a was a sort of passion. I felt like um, like a messenger. It was important to me to um, kind of ex expose jazz to as many people as possible. for five years now, my playing career has, has blossomed. Opportunities continue to present themselves. I've managed to um, go from one step to the other as far as my playing career. Basically from not playing at all to uh, working every night here in Singapore. Perhaps that rebel in me has something to do with my my uh, my fondness for jazz. When I first began getting interested in jazz, I saw it as kind of a uh, almost like a rebel art form because my first experience with jazz was um, listening to uh, an Oscar Peterson record. And um, it was just about the only jazz record in my stepfather's collection. And there were no names of the sidemen. In other words, it just said Oscar Peterson. And I could find no information about this record. It was almost, uh, I thought it was some sort of bootleg record. And when I played it, it had immediate appeal. Chekhov, the, the Russian writer, and he said, if you want to work on your art, work on your life, and um, working on my life is what I've been doing for the past uh, almost two years. If I have a positive outlook, it's not merely positive thinking, uh, which can be a sort of a spiritual bypass. Instead, <clears throat> I've taken a close look at the negativity in my life, at the anger and the pain, and I've uh, embraced it, if you will. I've explored those negative feelings. I believe that um, you, you play what you are. Music is, is like a mirror. And uh, that's one of the scarier aspects of performing because you lay your soul open and uh, to some extent your, your inner self is revealed. A whole range of, of emotions can be expressed through music. Your honesty and your effectiveness as a musician depends a great deal on your uh, your level of development as a person. So the important thing, I believe, as an artist is to keep moving, keep progressing as a person, keep uh, developing your awareness, perfect your devotion, and your art will, will reflect that, or will reflect those developments. I think my guitar style is based um, mostly on uh, bebop. I began to um, play uh, solos of uh, Charlie Parker. I would take um, uh, two bar phrases, short, short phrases, and um, something like this. Play 
that phrase in all keys, different positions. Uh, and then I began writing my own lines. My lines, my melody notes are very uh, uh, distinct. Um, you know, there's no, uh, uh, the lines are clear and um, the sound is, is, is warm. Part of this is, uh, as far as the tone, is, is due to the fact that I play with my thumb. So, uh, of course, the meat of my fingers is uh, soft and round. And, um, there's a softness, um, kind of a gentleness, but at the same time, there's um, uh, the the attack. Is uh, although it's smooth, it's it's also quite clear. You you hear every note. You know when I when I improvise uh, lines, I um, you know that that uh, uh, clarity is important to me. One thing I can say about my band is I've never worked with um, I've never been happier with the group. You know, in on the whole as people um, and, and the way that we interact with each other uh, uh, personally and musically is, uh, is very refreshing. I feel like it's my, my family in a way. In my time in Asia, I've become, uh, uh, I think, more adaptable and I've learned to become more um, uh, sensitive to the differences, you know, in other people. I was always a fairly flexible and adaptable person, but um, I think my five years in Asia has made me even more so, and um, I'm a lot um, less quick to, to jump to conclusions or make judgments uh, on what appear to be uh, differences. There's been an over uh, intellectualization of, of, of jazz. I think that uh, in the beginning, in my parents' era, jazz was, um, was dance music. It was uh, entertainment. One thing that makes me happy in my performance is when I see people's uh, physical reactions. I see them uh, tapping their feet or uh, 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 dancing, moving to the music. Um, I don't want, uh, I don't want people to feel scared that they can't move, that they can't show some uh, involvement with the music. A couple of uh, months ago, a few months ago, we, um, we had uh, some people in, uh, come into the bar where I play, who began dancing. And this was, uh, this was quite a novelty for the band because so uh, most of the time people are too shy to get up and move their bodies here. And uh, before you knew it, there were about three or four couples out dancing. And uh, this makes us feel good because it feels like we're um, uh, contributing, you know, that there's some, some communication going on. Uh, that there's a, a relationship between dancer, listener, and musician. And um, there's an excitement uh, which is generated by dancing to a live band rather than taped music. Recently, I was asked to participate in an outdoor jazz festival at uh, the Botanic Gardens. and. Uh, we uh, contributed our time uh, free of charge 